guys, so yesterday I got asked this question and I wanted to respond to it with a video because hearing that big cages are bad is not actually an uncommon thing for people to say. So, do big cages freak hamsters out and cause unnecessary stress? Well, if you were to just take your hamster and plonk it inside, let's say, a 100 centimeter cage with just the bare essentials, house, wheel, food, water, then yeah, it's probably gonna get pretty freaked out and it will likely just stay in its house all day long. Now, that's just natural instinct. They're prey animals and they get hunted by animals such as birds and larger rodents, and so they want to stay out of large open spaces where they might be spotted or where they have nowhere to hide. When a hamster, or any other rodent for that matter, is placed into an environment environment where there is lots of open space, oftentimes they do freak out and you can see signs that they are feeling stressed. But that is about as far as the truth goes. When it comes to domestic hamsters, so long as the cage is set up in an appropriate way, then a big cage is really beneficial for your hamster and provides them with actually a very natural environment. So what do I mean by set up correctly? Well, simply not having lots of large open spaces. You want to make sure it's full of toys and hideaways and tunnels and tubes and things they can go to to feel safe. You wouldn't just leave a cage empty with nothing in it, and as long as you've got plenty of things in there for your hamster to hide in, he's going to feel perfectly safe in there. So what about this natural environment stuff, because aren't hamsters burrowers? Don't they live underground? Well, yes and no. I'm sure we all know of a particular brand of cage, which I won't name, that advertises itself as being a natural environment because it recreates the burrowing system. Now these cages consist of pods and burrowing areas and tubes and tunnels and all sorts of things that go up and down and create this natural looking burrowing area. And to that extent, it does recreate a natural habitat. However, it doesn't recreate their entire natural environment. Hamsters do spend a lot of time in their burrows and they do feel very safe in them. However, the burrow is more of a bedroom slash pantry. The burrow is used as somewhere to sleep, somewhere to store their food, somewhere to raise their young, and somewhere to retreat to and hide when they're feeling threatened. But they don't live down there 24 seven and in the wild, hamsters are crepuscular animals, which means they wake up around dawn and dusk time. The entire daytime is spent sleeping inside this burrow, but as soon as it comes time to wake up, those little hamsters are the biggest explorers you will ever meet. Once wake up time comes, the hamsters emerge from their burrow to forage and explore. And the average distance that a hamster will travel in one night is between five and nine miles. That is no small distance. These little guys love to explore and they will keep on exploring until it's time to go back to bed and then they just sleep through the entire day again. So it's a complete myth that hamsters don't enjoy lots of space because they do so long as they feel safe and protected in it. So hopefully that cleared up that myth for anyone who's heard it before and maybe believed it. It is an outdated belief and I can promise you so long as your cage is set up really well, so it's got lots of hideaways and lots of toys, I really recommend Bendy Bridges, they're my favorite, then your hamster is going to love it and it's going to recreate their natural habitat perfectly. And by the way, if you want a really natural burrowing system, just fill your cage up with substrate. Your hamster can build its own burrow and it's amazing Amazing to watch them build it. They're complete with little bedrooms and little storage areas. Sometimes they'll have two or three little storage areas for their food. It's awesome to see them build. So if you want to see a truly natural environment, fill it up with substrate, put lots of hideaways and things around. Your hamster will love it, I promise you. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope it was useful. I hope it was informative. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up because it lets me know what kind of videos you like so I can make more of them. And if you know anyone who is maybe spreading this myth around a little bit, then why don't you share this video with them or share it with someone who actually believes it. You can share the video in two ways. You can either copy and paste the URL at the top of this screen up there or you can use the share buttons down beneath the video. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. There are plenty more videos like this that are on their way and already on the channel that you can check out if you wish to. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.